gotta turn my bitch up, turn my bitch up, turn my bitch. Hey y'all, it's your girl Hannah B, and welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, obviously I got my veneers done. Um, I do have a vlog coming out, like sometime this month about it um it's like my new year's vlog or whatever but i do have a vlog coming out about it like really soon so don't worry there are some more details in in the vlog but it's not really a whole lot of details um i did tell y'all earlier in the year that i was getting veneers i had paid my deposit we was packed up and ready to go and um a lot of a lot of things started happening that I did not feel comfortable going and getting them. I'm happy I didn't get them in because I paid less. Um, because we love a little, we love a holiday special or a New Year's special. Okay, so yeah, these are my teeth now. Um, so I got composite resin veneers. Um, I got them done locally in the United States because the fuck i'm not gonna go out of the country and then also i was reading that like a lot of u.s doctors won't work on veneers that were done overseas or out of the country so i said i will take the gamble and go somewhere local um so i got my veneers done on december 29th at celebrity design smiles okay um like I said, they do, it's completely, what was I saying? It's complete, <laughs> it's complete resin, okay? So it's um, composite resin. I have eight top, eight bottom. These are, they are the shape of my natural teeth. So they're the shape of my natural teeth. Um, there was no shaving done to my natural teeth and there was no shaving done to my gum. Oh, I can't talk. To my gum line. Um... So yeah, which were two things that I said, if I'm going to do something like this, then at least let me see what it looks like without any of the other stuff. Because I know a lot of people who get composite resin veneers hate them and they end up go ahead and getting porcelain, getting these removed and getting porcelain or, you know, just like they, they basically end up getting redone. Like I still have to get these touched up every so many years or whatever. Um, I think... I think these are 10 years, but as of right now, I'm still kind of like, it's to, it's only been a few for while I'm filming. This has only been like maybe a week since I have, since I've had them and I'm still kind of like, don't really know how I feel. I think a lot of it is just because like, I've never seen myself without my gap or the spaces in the top row of my teeth. So I think I'm getting accustomed to that. Um, my tech did say, you know, give it a few, give it two weeks to, for you to get accustomed to eating with them, to get accustomed to talking with them, to get accustomed to how your face looks with them, because my face does look very different to me. If y'all can't tell, listen, sis already barely had a chin. Sis ain't got no chin now when I close my mouth. See? But when I open my mouth, oh my God, there's my chin. So, yeah, I ain't got a chin no more because my teeth are just that big, even though it's a thin layer of resin. Like when I actually look at my teeth, it's not that much resin on my teeth. But I guess that just goes to show you like how like powerful having a little bit of something your mouth can do to you. So obviously, I'm still kind of on the fence about them. I don't know. Everybody says they like them, um, that I look normal, whatever that means. Um, people say they don't look bad. I've really been trying to practice talking with them because um, that's what you're supposed to do to get accustomed with them. And also, like, I'm full-time in the office now, so, like, I could, I can't hide this. I have to go out and talk to people and use my teeth and know that people are looking at me from different angles and um, other things. So like, it's really been an adjustment. They are not the brightest white shade that was available. They're kind of like an in-between shade because at first I did want them 
to be like my natural tooth color but it was brought up that you know like resin veneers fade very quickly and so by the end of the year my veneers could be darker than my actual teeth so i said okay i don't want to do super white but find me something you know so i ended up getting like an in-between shade so they're not super white um even though they look super white it's really just because they're fresh so i have been like drinking dark sodas red wine that type of stuff with a straw if i can help it or i've been waterfalling it which is like super ghetto but i've been trying to drink things that are dark like coffee and stuff like that with a straw to alleviate the staining even though i just got them so i know like they're super you know like the stains aren't gonna stick right now but i'm trying to be proactive um another thing that i had to do which was like i knew i was gonna need like the sensitive toothpaste and stuff like that but i really wasn't expecting to like really have super sensitive teeth even though people talk about it like whether you get shaven or not like your teeth have to make an adjustment like they you're gonna feel the difference and so uh sis had to go get some oral gel while i was at work <laughs> to um get my teeth to calm down because they were doing a lot okay teeth was teeth were, teeth was doing a lot at work so i don't know my boyfriend says that they look fine everybody at work says they look fine my mama called me cute but of course you know i'm my biggest critic and i don't know if i 100 percent like them or not you feel me but we are going to ride it out for a while um Brienne said that i have to take a photo shoot with them first if i'm gonna get them removed so she's like you're just not used to seeing yourself in your element you know start getting cute more you gotta do something with them you know book a party something so i'm gonna do a photo shoot um and i'm also gonna get a little bit of like botox in my chin to see if like relaxing the pieces of that muscle down there do something before i just go straight filler because i do want to invest in facial balancing especially now that i have these teeth if i keep them definitely invest in facial balancing or at least profile balancing but yeah so we are going to this is toothpaste right here actually we're going to keep them um, we're gonna keep them for a second and see how they do i'm still adjusting like i said it's just my first full week with them yeah tomorrow will be a friday so tomorrow will be january 5th and this will be my first full week with my teeth <laughs> so we gonna you know like i said it's an adjustment i'm making an adjustment but um that's all for this video i know y'all got like more extensive questions um please just like leave comments down below make sure you are subscribed make sure you are hitting the notification bell so you make sure you are subscribed and make sure you are hitting the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post a video on this channel um make sure you follow me on all forms of social media at hannah burnell w nothing has changed boo and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one bye Oh, that savage love you, girl. You know that savage love you.